Okay, so in this video, we're going to tackle this equation right here. And I uh, always encourage those of you that watch my videos, and th if this is the first time uh, you are watching my videos, first of all, thank you very much for checking in. Hopefully, you'll become a subscriber to my channel. But I always encourage those of you to try to do the problem on your own. Okay, think about what you know and don't know, but you're definitely uh, going to need to know how to solve problems like this if you expect to do uh, uh, well in algebra. Matter of fact, if you can't do problems like this, you're going to have a difficult time uh, passing algebra. So let's get you to understand how to solve an equation like this. And we're going to get into all the steps here uh, in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Taba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that if you're interested. Uh, you can check out my math help program by uh, following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. I'm going to be launching a pre-calculus here uh, very, very soon. But I also do a lot of um, courses on test preparation. So if you're uh, studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GMAT, GRE, CLEP exam, AccuPlacer, Alex, uh, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam like the Praxis, CBEST, CSET. There's so many uh, different exams out there. Or maybe a nursing entrance exam uh, like the TEAS. All these exams uh, have significant uh, mathematics on them. And if you don't get through the math section, you're not going to do well on these exams. So I have great test preparation uh, courses. So just go to my website and uh, go through my full course catalog. I should have what you're looking for. If I do not, please drop me a line uh, and I will uh, help you out the best I can. I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning system. I've been working with homeschoolers for uh, over 15 years. And uh, I also uh, help those of you that are struggling in your current math courses. But uh, one thing that I can't do for you if you're serious about uh, improving in mathematics, and I think you... You know, obviously, by just virtue of you watching this video, I assume that you want to improve in math. But if you're serious about that, you have to do this for yourself. you got to take great math notes. So uh, over decades of teaching mathematics, it's just apparent to me that those students who have excellent math notes almost do very, very well um, in their uh, uh, exams and grades and everything else. And the reverse is true. Those students who take no notes, okay? Now, why would you not take notes? Well, maybe it's more important for you to be looking at your cell phone, talking to your best friends, uh, maybe doing homework that's due for your next class. Listen, I, I made all those errors. You know, I'm not uh, perfect by any stretch, but way back in the 1980s when I went to school, I was certainly distracted. I was talking to people. I was messing around. We didn't have cell phones, and it's a good thing because if I had a cell phone back in those days, as fun as it would be, uh, I probably wouldn't even graduate it because it's completely distracting. I mean, cell phones are awesome, uh, smartphones and whatnot, but totally distracting. You're already distracted enough. And the only way you're going to be successful in anything is to focus, okay? And the best activity to help you stay focused in terms of mathematics or any course at that is to be taking notes, okay? So the, if your notes are comprehensive, detailed, like awesome looking, that's a pretty good indication that you're paying attention and you're focused, all right? And then if the reverse is true, if your notes are like blank pieces of paper or maybe they're like scribble scratch and then you look at your notes, you're like, mm, I have no idea what I wrote down. Listen, I get it, okay? But uh, again, we're talking about those of you that are serious about learning mathematics. If you're thinking that you're going to watch a video like this real quick and be like, okay, I know how to do this. I'm good to go. Uh, then you, again, you're, you're looking for shortcuts, okay? And shortcuts never work. All right? If you're serious about uh, learning math, let's get you to uh, really get engaged and build up your math skills one skill at a time. So we're going to be focusing on this here in a second. So work on your notes. But in the meantime, uh, I offer detailed comprehensive math notes that you can study from. So those would include pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so uh, here is our equation. We want to solve for x. Uh, again, if you think you know what to do, go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and do so because I'm going to get into the uh, uh, equation now. All right, so we have, um, uh, what do we have here? Well, we got some fractions going on. 
And uh, you can see uh, the denominators. This does make a big difference. The denominators are numbers, not variables. Okay. So, but anytime we're dealing with an equation, okay, this is an equation because it has an equal sign there. And uh, you're dealing with an equation. And if the denominators, okay, whether they're, they, uh, whether they're variables, if they're variables, we have to do some additional things. But in this case, they're numbers. But what you want to be thinking about uh, when you see a bunch of fractions in algebra is we want to clear the fractions away. And the best way to do that is to multiply the entire thing by the LCD, the lowest common denominator. So here we have 3, here we have 6, and here we have 2. What is the lowest common denominator between 3, 6, and 2? Uh, so hopefully all of you out there said it is 6. And if that is what you said, then I go ahead and uh, I'll give you a little happy face and a check mark. That's very good. So you want to multiply uh, the entire this entire equation by 6. And when you do that, you will have a new equation without fractions, Okay, a new equivalent equation. And then we want to solve that equation. Uh, and then that's basically going to be the main strategy here. But you got to be very careful because there is a couple parts of this problem that um, can get you in trouble. Okay, now if you want to go ahead at this point to try the problem, I'm going to show you the solution here in a second. So just pause the video if you don't want to see the solution because I'm going to get into it right now. Okay, so as we discussed we're going to um, multiply this entire equation by 6. So you can put some brackets just like this to indicate that you're going to distribute this 6 to each term. Now remember in algebra, um, you can uh, multiply anything or divide anything uh, to an equation as long as you do it equally to, to the, both the left, -hand and right -hand, the left and right hand side. So here I want to multiply everything by 6. I'm just, uh, I'm gonna, it's going to clear the fractions for me. And it's going to look different, but just remember, uh, mathematically, it's equivalent. So don't be afraid that you're changing the problem into something different. We're allowed to do that in algebra. So, but we got to be very careful here, especially with this part of the problem. And I'm going to show you uh, why here. Okay, so 6 times 2 thirds x, we can write it like so. And I would suggest that you write things out just like this. Minus, okay, this is the subtraction operator right there, six times this. Now you want to put this whole thing in parentheses. That's critical because if not, you can easily make a mistake here with this negative sign. I'll show you this in, uh, in a second. So we have six times this, six times this, 2x uh, plus 5 over 6 uh, equals six times this 1 half. Okay, notice everything's in parentheses. Nice and tidy. Now we can kind of go through each uh, one of these terms. All right, so this is going to be what? Well, you can go 6 times 2 is 12x uh, divided by uh, 3 is going to be uh, 4x. Or some of you out there would be like, okay, um, let me go and erase this. You could also say, oh, 3 goes into 6, that's 2. 2 times 2 is 4, that's 4x. Either way, you can, uh, you'll get to 4x uh, depending on how uh, you got there. Now, if you didn't get, if you weren't able to get to 4x here, then you're going to have to review how to multiply fractions, etc. Okay, but if you uh, got 4x, that's very good. Now, at this point, we got to be super careful with this guy right here because we have this subtraction sign, and we're going to have to distribute this uh, subtraction sign into here. So uh, here, I can cross cancel these six. Uh, these sixes here, those go away. So I'm left with negative parentheses 2x plus 5. Okay, this is a very, very uh, common pl place where students would make mistakes here. So we'll revisit this in a second, but let's just finish this up. 6 times 1 half, of course, would be uh, 3. Okay, now at this point in the prom, hopefully you could solve this equation. Okay, this equation here, if I gave you this as a uh, just a problem, you should be able to solve this. This is basic algebra. And if you cannot, don't, you know, get distressed. I have tons of videos uh, in my pre-algebra and an uh, algebra playlist on my channel. Or better, better yet, just jump into one, like one of my courses. I would suggest like my Algebra 1 course would be great for this skill level. But uh, we need to know how to solve this problem. Okay. Well, because I have parentheses here and I have this negative, this is like a negative 1. I ha I'm going to have to distribute that negative uh, sign to these terms here, okay, because these are in uh, parentheses. So I'm going to have 4x minus 2x 
minus 5, okay? Or this becomes a negative 5 equals 3, okay? Again, this is an area that a lot of students will make a mistake because they're not using group and symbols. All right, so 4x and negative 2x, I'm going to combine like terms. That's 2x, so I have 2x minus 5 is equal to 3. Now I'm going to add 5 to both sides of the equation, okay? So it gives me 2x is equal to 8. Again, if you're not understanding any of this, you need to go back and review basic equation solving. So 2x is equal to 8. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. I get x is equal to 4. All right, so if you got that problem right, then I must give you a little happy face. Uh, let's say, well, I always do a mohawk, okay? Let me try to do something different. Hey, how about a flat top? Oh, I used to wear flat tops back in the good old days. We don't see flat tops anymore. That was a very popular haircut back in the 1980s. Matter of fact, like the 1950s and stuff. Uh, but those were pretty cool uh, haircuts to get. Uh, so anyways, I'll give you your uh, little fl uh, flat top. I'll give you an A+. Plus. Uh, and I'll give you like, now yeah, let's give you two stars. This one wasn't like the hardest problem. Um, it wasn't the easiest problem. Um, actually, with this part right here, now maybe let's get, let's make it three stars. What the heck, okay? So if you're able to kind of really navigate through with these little negative signs. But the bottom line is that, hey, you're, you know, you got some decent uh, basic algebra skills here, okay? Remember, in algebra, solving equations is a huge part of what you do in algebra, okay? That's probably the the main thing, okay? Um, so when you see these things like this, that's an equation, and there are some variables, well, guess what? That's an equation, an algebraic equation, and you're gonna, you're gonna need to know how to solve them, but there's all different types of algebra equations, okay? There's uh, systems, there's quadratic equations, there's uh, linear equations, there's rational equations, there's radical equations there's just a ton of different equations and how we solve these guys are different they're different okay uh, this the steps to solve a quadratic equation have nothing to do with solving a radical equation etc uh, etc et so how could you possibly uh, like learn all the detailed steps for each one of these things and remember this stuff without taking notes right so you got to take notes and you got to practice watching me do a problem it's not the same as you being able to do it. It's very deceiving. You're like, oh, okay, I understand what you just did. Well, you should pause the video and see if you can actually do the problem again on your own, okay? Uh, that's the way you're really going to get better at stuff. There's no shortcuts in math. You really do have to get immersed and, uh, you know, just practice until you get better. That's the, you know, I'm just telling you uh, the reality of the situation. Um, so if this video in some way helped you out, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, please consider subscribing. I have tons of videos on my channel, Basic to Advanced Mathematics. My mission is to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Okay, that's my passion. That's what I'm trying to do. Um, so if I'm helping you out, that's awesome, okay? Uh, because then I'm doing my job. But I really am I'm passionate about, uh, you know, the fact that nobody should be failing uh, math, okay? Uh, if you're doing your part, you're taking great notes, you're going to your math teacher, well, even if beyond that, if you need additional help, there's tons of resources out there. Hopefully, if you like the way I teach, you, there's a ton of information on my uh, channel. But my best math help will be within my best math help program. Okay, just don't accept doing poorly in mathematics. That's, it doesn't have to be that way. Go find the help uh, that you need because it is out there. Okay? All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.